Hey there guys, what's going on? Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel once again for another Don Machi Memoria Freeze video. And today, we are here with a Should You Summon, but not for these guys. No, 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 no. These guys will be getting their Should You Summon next week. And I'll give you guys a couple of reasons as to why I'm waiting that long. Well, one, War Games isn't live right now, so I can't really judge these units really well, to be quite honest. Artie and Elise both are War Games focused units. Artie is a great support, but she doesn't do much for you outside of War Games. Let's be real. A lot of her skill set is meant to be used and utilized in War Games. Elise, a lot of her damage comes from STR and magic reduction skills. So basically, whenever she gets a debuff of STR and magic on her, she can then do more damage because of that. But the thing is, you're not getting that experience outside of war games and maybe some familiar rush events basically and some stages even at that not all stages would take advantage of elise's abilities right so in all honesty i can't really judge these units outside of war games i have tried to place them in my team and then use them against friends but i still feel that's not very efficient plus i only have them at plus two which isn't a great showing from them a lot of players will want to see them at plus five or plus you know zero and stuff like that a middle ground is rarely enough to judge a unit in my opinion so that's another thing is i'm waiting to see what other players have to say about elise and rd at plus five if they have them at plus five and then go from there of course so wait for the should you summon the should you summon will come out don't worry it will inevitably come out it's just that today it's not focused on these guys what we're going to be talking about are these two banners the midsummer night sabbath rerun gacha i know a lot of players have been querying me about the Ryu, especially because this is the infamous Ryu, the nocturnal elf Ryu. and i think this video will give you guys a good idea on how much you should summon and what you should be summoning on primarily okay so let's get that out of the way and uh, talk about the Ryu first and foremost okay so this Ryu is phenomenal i mean you've seen her let's go to war games training again i mean we made a video uh, i think i made a video yesterday um talking about units and stuff like that but look at the unit popularity list i mean nocturnal elf Ryu is still the top most used unit even in a war games training session so it's insane it is genuinely insane how good she is and how valuable she is so in my personal opinion summon on this banner i don't even have to talk about the other two units the Aina and elfie aren't bad units elfie is a great aoe dark magic unit but again i don't think you would be using her over other magic units or other teams primarily and Aina is not a bad assist she is actually a decent assist she's able to give allies a, a lot of elemental resistances fire thunder wind and dark but not a lot of those are being used currently in the game right now right a lot of players are using light a lot of players are using water a lot of other players some players are using dark right with valera and finn right so maybe there it's a little bit viable here but she also gives critical rate penetration rate and counter rate down minus 25 percent which is really really good so in going for this banner you're not really losing out even if you don't get real say till the 10th step but obviously it's something that you should consider that you have your stock of iris do you have enough is it worth going for it kind of thing right and that's the next point i'm gonna make is i think you should just get one copy of ryu and stop there do not get more copies of ryu if it's not necessary because in my opinion one copy of ryu is more than enough a lot of players are running with just one or two copies of ryu at top so you don't have to go quite deep into this banner to be able to you know extract Ryu's full potential or anything of that sort and the other thing is i would say do not go beyond 10 steps i know a lot of players tend to go beyond 10 steps saying like oh i'm i'm gonna get that extra last copy or two more copies or something like that don't it's not worth it the rates in danmachi aren't great listen three percent rates are is better than a lot of other gacha games i'll be very honest and say that but then you have to consider the chances of you getting something beyond there and obviously you want to save up your iris for the next banner that has 10 steps right so because you want to finish off the steps that's the whole point of dalmachi's banner system in my personal opinion is you want to finish off the 10 steps but do not go beyond it or do not leave a banner half done basically in my opinion i do not think those are two viable options whatsoever you should aim if you are summoning on a banner go to step 10 that's about it 
or at least do one multi and then go to step uh, uh, it's either one multi or go to step 10 no in between or no going beyond step 10 in my personal opinion that's about it so for me this banner is a solid banner but your target on this banner specifically and this is the should you summon uh point coming across is focus on just getting one copy of you that one copy of you hightail it out of there because you don't know what's coming up next we don't know yet uh, in about two weeks time or, or about a week and a half time i should say the next live stream on the 25th is when we should be getting the next major you know event basically because we're almost done with recollections of the wind the rerun is going on right now but the next event will be announced on the 25th so keep that in mind um you know we're going to be getting something big next uh it's possible that it could be a time limited event it's possible that it's not a time limited event we'll just have to wait and see so bear that in mind okay bear that in mind that you know we're coming close to something that's possibly going to be something important so keep keep wary when you're summoning on this banner okay now let's talk about this banner and this banner is probably the biggest skip i've ever seen in my life do not summon on this banner there is realistically no point um i've already spoken about shigusa and uh, you know uh, the alicia a little bit because they were the ones who got a buff right along with the ana but uh, we do have this seer as well. Let's talk about the seer first and foremost uh, because she is actually pretty decent. Allies match 15% and wind and dark attack damage 20%. This is a strong assist in all honesty, especially if you're using a team with say Valera or you know they're using a team with wind units or something like that a good combination of units now wind doesn't have a really great team at this point in time right but dark i mean let's look at dark right i'm, I'm gonna have a look over at dark because um i want to see what magic units we have in dark right now right we i want to see what options we have right here right um you have the likes of dicks i don't know why i said valetta valetta is physical sorry my bad i keep mixing the two up dicks is magic so you can use that unit for for example record buster if you're using a dark team uh, a dark record buster team you could do that you have this Philvis who is a single target unit as well if i'm not mistaken right um yes she is but she's a little bit older um and she does have the additional actions and stuff like that but she's not bad as well you have origami who is another commonly used single target unit right very very strong one as well so you have her as well so you have options right here that are really really good for record or record buster and you could use a unit like seer in there right but is it worth it go going for that banner when I'm, i don't want to go into arena uh is it worth going for that banner when you have units like both alicia and chigusa on this banner right like look, look let's look at chigusa chigusa is a po uh, has poison in her she does also have the self avoids ko just like um the new rd does but does she do enough here I don't think so because the thing is with uh, RD, the biggest thing about RD on her first skill, right, is that she debuffs the enemy's agility, uh, critical rate, counter rate, and stuff like that, along with giving you the uh, avoiding KO ability, right? And then on top of that, her second skill right here, right, is all focused on dealing ailment in, in Chigusa. The thing is, Chigusa as an ailment unit is probably not the one to be quite honest because you have now units like Valletta, you have Epithemus, you have Gross, you have so many other ailment units that are way better than this uh, Chigusa in all honesty because frankly speaking the only real use that she has is dropping down that seal resistance by 35% because frankly you're, you're not poison isn't as good of an ailment in war games I'll be very honest and say that it's good chip damage but you want to nullify the enemy's actions. You want to stun them. You want to seal them. You want to slow them. You want to make sure that they're not going anywhere, basically. They're not moving anywhere. Dealing chip damage is the least of their concerns, quite frankly speaking. The opponent's concerns, that is. So, in my opinion, Chigusa didn't really get that many good buffs, nor is she a great option. And if we look over at... Uh, Alicia, Alicia is a very very interesting unit, right? Um, she is able to heal the uh, uh, allies, and she's able to effectively, you know, remove any debuffs on any of the elements that you element resists resist debuffs you have down by the three turns, which is helpful. It's really really solid. But again, what is she, what else does she provide to the team? In my opinion, not a whole lot. Um, one big thing when you're, you know, uh, going for and summoning for units is you see how viable they are and what do they bring to the team? What do they offer to the team? One of the big reasons why I still believe Artie is a very good option is just that I need, I need more time with her, right? Is, um, 
and I'm looking at it from a balanced perspective. If you look at a balanced unit like Artie, she's able to reduce the opponent's agility, which is so important in record in war games. Sorry, right? Agility is the deal breaker in uh, war games, right? Then you have dexterity down, which helps in terms of you know blocking any criticals they do or anything of that sort, right? You you're lowering their critical rate straight up anyways as well, along with their penetration rate for forty percent. That's so good. And then on top of that, she's got the additional actions as well, which is super, super nice. She also has the ability to boost your allies' STR, Magic, P Res, M Res, and give HP regen, and then remove any strength, Magic, P Res, and M Res debuffs as well. Now, the one thing here I will say about Artie, just quickly to talk about, and it's something that I noticed might be an issue, is. Uh, Artie and Elise may kind of cancel each other because, well, you know, Artie removes the STR and match debuffs, but Elise needs that to deal a lot of damage. So, something to keep in mind there. But th that's besides the point. That's another topic for another day, basically. But you know what I mean, right? There's so much happening here. But then you look over at uh, Alicia, right? And I'm, I'm looking at it from a balanced unit perspective and a modern day balanced unit perspective, right? Um, what does she do? She gives us the HP heal and regen, which is nice good okay that's good that's good she's able to reduce the debuffs that's also nice i wouldn't think that's a bad idea but then you look at uh Arty, she's able to remove four debuffs whereas this is only an element one um as well as physical and magic rest so that's three debuffs technically and, and it's only minus three turns that is a complete just remove the debuffs no matter what this is only minus three turns so there might be a chance that they might have like a five turn uh debuff turn or something like that you know whatever it may be right so that's there and then she gives your uh, foes critical rate and penetration rate down minus 40%. So basically similar, but the only thing is Artie can do minus 40% agility and dexterity as well. And then she gives allies mag and wind attack damage plus 50%, but Artie can give SDR mag, physical res and MRES. A bit of a slower modifier on Artie, 35%, but still valuable, still very, very valuable. So for me, I don't think you should summon on this banner whatsoever. But on the other hand, if you look at the Ryu Gacha, right? I'm going to go over these units once more just so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. But like Ryu, for, Ryu the big thing is her soul recall. That fast 10% HP MP heal and heal 10% for two turns is fine. That's good, good enough in all honesty. It's not bad whatsoever. But the big thing comes with the last two parts. Null physical attack and null magic attack times two. Two free hits on your team where it goes to zero damage is insane like i've always said the less damage you take the higher is your chances of winning so ryu is a phenomenal unit the rest of her kit isn't like oh groundbreaking or anything innocent dark can do a lot of damage provided you have good units that can effectively help her out in terms of like oh you know innocent dark str agi dark attack damage if the opponent if you you have allies that can reduce like say the dark resistance of the enemy and stuff like that you're gonna still see some good damage here. This is this this will actually do a lot decent damage. I've seen it do decent damage as well, right? So keep that in mind as well. Then you have this Elfie, who is not a bad option as well, you know, in all honesty. Um she's able to reduce the opponent's uh ma magic res down by 40%, you know, the dark res down as well, but that's only on single target. Um again, this is a very good unit for uh Record Buster. It's another very, very good unit for Record Buster. And it's something, like I said earlier on, is where, you know, if you have the Seer, you have Dix, you have Origami, Elfie is not a bad option. She's a great single target dark magic unit, honestly. So she can fit straight and well with Origami, Dix, and stuff like that, and go really, really well. And then you have this Aina, who's able to give allies, fire, thunder, wind, and dark rest 20%. The first three aren't so valuable, but the third, fourth one is actually pretty decently valuable because a lot of players are using the Dark Fin from the 5th anniversary. A lot of players are using Valera. So having that Dark Rest isn't a bad thing. And then, of course, on top of that, the ability to give Critical Rate down, Penetration Rate down, and Counter Rate down is not bad at all. But again, it's not one of those units that you'll only put like on a stall team or something. It's not something you'd put on any other team primarily, I would say, because there are much better assist options. So, Aina kind of loses out on there. But yeah, I think having Ryu and Elfie on one banner is so much more valuable. Like, this banner is just insanely more valuable than this banner. But in my personal opinion, just based on what's potentially to come, I mean, you have time. You have time till the 9th of November. We still have like three four weeks of this banner being live let's be real so 
you 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 have enough time to decide whether or not you want to go on this banner even more um after you get your first copy of ryu but your main objective on this banner is just getting that one copy of nocturnal elf ryu but there you guys have it thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it leave a like if you did subscribe to the channel of course comment down below whether you guys summon on this banner or not and then i will see you guys in the next video take it easy everybody Bye bye